Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a basic review on my charging system, talking about my batteries, my balancing board, and my eye charger. So, uh, first thing is my just my batteries, this basic overview is these are the Nano 2200 milliamps, uh, 3 cell, they're 3570C discharge. They work great, they seem like they have a lot of spunk when I need it. Um, the best ones that I had so far. You can charge them, I think, up to like uh, 7. 15 amps per battery, um, so you can really charge them, really charge them fast if you want to. They work good. A um, couple crashes I have, and some it's not very safe, but you know it's coming apart already. But um, they just keep they just keep going. Now I have some uh, Aerowin batteries. Uh, these are the uh, 20 C discharge. You can charge them up to 5 C. So you can do about 11 amps um, in those. It works. It works well. Uh, they're the, yeah. Of course, they're the three cells. Uh, they don't have a lot of spunk, obviously, but uh, they're a little cheaper battery, and they they work they work good. So that's kind of what those are on the batteries. Um, then I was going to talk a little bit about balancing and how to balance. You guys, uh, it's kind of new. It's kind of been around for a while though too. So. Uh, a lot of my club members are just starting to get into it. I've been in it for probably about a year now. Um, and I'll never ever go back to the charging with one battery or, you know, or a, you know, four, four port charger. It's just all going to be eye charger now or something that has a higher amperage that you can charge multiple batteries with a parallel charging board. <clears throat> uh, this is the e EC3 connectors. Uh, that's just because I use a lot of E-Flight Horizon stuff, and it's just I put them on. They seem to work work fine. I haven't had any problems with them. They're a little hard to pull off sometimes, but um, I guess that's better than falling off. Um, one other thing that I want to talk to you that um, these cords are rated. These are the high discharge, so you can charge up to 30 amps with this one. It's a Hobby King one, I think HK. Uh, or yeah, HX I guess, uh, and it works really good. I, you can charge them up to 30 amps, and I think maybe 10, uh, 40 amps for 10 minutes. Um, don't quote me on that, but these wires do get even warm at 30 amps, so I wouldn't go more than what they recommend. 30 amps is the most on that. Now, how do you uh, balance, or how do you charge all six batteries at once? Well, you just start plugging each battery into the connector uh, and then charging and then plugging your uh, balancing uh, leads in too. Now what you can do is you can charge say for instance plug your connector into this one and plug your balancing lead in the, in the up here. It doesn't really matter as long as you have them all plugged in. It doesn't matter which order you have them in but as long as you have them all plugged in it should work just fine. The battery, uh, the charger just thinks it's one big three cell battery. Um, so it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, or you know, let's just say 3,000 milliamps, you know, whatever. Um, it just thinks it's a big one 3,000 milliamp battery. So, other thing is, is that you just wanted to make sure when you're plugging them in that once I had a problem with, I wasn't paying attention, I was talking, and somehow I, um, I had four batteries plugged in and I was trying to fit the next one on. I was busy talking and I reversed it. Um, and just a split second it got hot. Well, it's, it smoked a little bit, popped. And there's a lot of wires inside here. Uh, little copper wires that just blew up. So you just have to be really careful that you, with these ES series you can still... Somehow I managed to touch them and it blew up. Uh, the battery didn't get wrecked, it just burned real quick and fast and it was done. Um, so I just want to make sure that you connect, make sure that you have all the reds and blacks going the same way. Well, the other thing I had a problem with is my uh, hobby shop, uh, they offered to con put the connectors on for me one time. So I said sure, go ahead, do that. Uh, not paying attention, um, I don't think they were paying attention. I just started plugging them in to my board and I got three of them set up. The fourth one I put in but they put the red one on the circle and the black one on the, on the squarish. 
up here so just make sure when you're connecting them that you get them in the right way the red goes to the square and the black goes to the circle uh, the black yeah, goes to the circle so that might be good if you can do that the other thing that I was going to say is to when you're charging them they all have to be 3 cell batteries or 6 cell or 4 cell or 2 cell but they all have to be the same cell and they should all be the same milliamp when you're when you're charging other than that it charges really fast you can charge six of them I charge six of them in like 20 minutes I didn't do the you can charge up to 20 you can use 38 volts on here the next logical one is 24 I'm just using 12 right now but 12 goes so fast it can charge all six of them in like 20 minutes so I'm busy flying and I don't really pay attention I don't need 24 I would be maybe if I get the bigger batteries it might um, eventually I probably will get bigger batteries but that's kinda how that's working out right now so moving on to the eye charger we got the 30 uh, 36B it's a real nice uh, charger so far I've got two or three people at our club to get one um, they're real nice um, the difference um, there's a I think 3010B charger it's a uh, real it's almost exactly the same but the thing is it can do 10 10 cells and if you look on look underneath here you can see all like you can hook up two cell three cell four cell six cell um, you can plug them all you can plug them all in the other the 10 cell one has one big line right across it and I think you need an adapter to plug to plug in uh, to make it work right. So that's kind of the reason why I went with that. And 10 cell chargers or batteries you really don't use. You normally use a 6 or if you're going to use 6 you're going to double that to 12. 12 cell that's kind of that's kind of common. So you can do a lot of varieties just, just with the 6 uh, cell charger. The 10 you're going to pay a little bit more but just seems a little bit more inconvenient um, if you forget your balancing board or whatever or your parallel board you d and you just need to charge one battery at a time this way is a lot easier just to hook it in and go that way so that's kinda why I went with that moving on to the eye charger uh, just kinda give you a you guys are probably know how to program it but I just kinda wanted to go over some features this can go charge up to 30 amps so I've used it on my car quite a bit I can get about I can charge six batteries if they're fully discharged six batteries like 20 or so minutes and I can do it like another three or four batteries before my uh, car battery dies <laughs> so that's about what you wanted um, average so if I'm gonna fly a lot I charge them all at home then I go out to the field burn them all up and start recharging then it's just a little easier <clears throat> then uh, just going over some of the one thing I like about it not my older ones didn't but if you go let's see let's see I am messing up so you go here now if you're looking at you can go up to 30 amps oh. let's see okay oh yeah now you can see the lipo right there one time I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting my 3.2 volts per cell and I think I was on that setting and I was only getting 3 uh, 10 uh, per cell and I was wondering why so you just have to make sure it's on lipo when you're doing that that was one one major thing that I couldn't figure out at first why I was getting that other thing is when uh, one thing's nice if you're charging really small batteries uh, you can go down yeah you can go all the way down to 0 0.05 amps and then it steps up every after that works I think that's kind of that's kind of cool that you can do that and if you want to go up to 30 amps 
Um, I just hit back if I'm closer to zero because it takes a long time to go all the way up to 30 on that. Um, let's see. A balance it so you guys know how to balance. Um, see, charging three cell, you can do six cell, fast charge, different things. Um, lithium batteries, that's basically the only thing why I got this for is just the lithium batteries. And NICAD batteries don't really do too much, only in my gas airplanes I do NICADs. Um, now, this just has a thousand watts um, and it only does 30 amps. I guess it will do a thousand watts um, if you're u using like the foam cutter or something. So um, it really, it really is only 750 watts if you're doing the 30 amps. Um, if I'm wrong, somebody tell me that if I'm doing the math wrong. But I think that's how that works. So it's not truly a thousand watts unless you're using a foam cutter, or, um, something like that. Uh, let's see. Other thing. So those are those, let's see, settings, hard to do this all on camera. Oh yeah, I was going to show you this, let's see, start. Now, there's so many different settings on here, what you can do. This kind of video is just kind of showing you guys what this is. If you, nobody can play with it, you guys can kind of... Sh um, if you if you don't have one at home you can, and you want to buy one, this is kind of running running you through the charger settings right now on what you can do. You can do trickle, uh, different uh, some of these things. I don't even know what they are. Let's see, trying to get it focused in. Let's see, there we go. Okay. Trickle. You can do. Trying to figure out which ones. Oh yeah, now capacity cutoff. Uh, when you're when you're doing a when you're um, charging multiple batteries, what we're doing on the parallel charging board, uh, you want to bump up uh, the capacity cutoff because if um, if it's set like at five thousand and you have seven thousand with all your batteries connected, you kind of want to bump it up. So I just put a big high number in there so I'll never have to think about it. It always seems to work just fine. This is just kind of another safety feature built into it. Uh, I haven't really, uh, that's why I just brought it up higher like that. Now input, now this is kind of interesting too, the input limit cutoff, your, um, it can go all the way up to 50, I think, 50, uh, 50 amps. I don't know what the input is, but uh, cutoff is uh, four and a half volts. So that's the minimum. So once your battery gets down to four and a half volts, um, then it will just automatically shut off. Uh, just from experience, I know that that won't start your car, so if you're using your car battery, you might want to bump it up a little bit, so you have some, so your charger will shut off before your car, so your car can still turn over. Uh, so that's another safety feature, so bump it up to 11 or 12 or 10 or something, something that it can actually, it will actually start. That's cool. Now there's Let's, whoops, hit the wrong button. Okay. Let's see, go through beeper, beeper on, beeper off. That's that's nice to have. I just like the beeper on. What you can do is you can, uh, this is kind of cool, you can always have the, the beeper on when, the, when it's done charging. Beeper off. Uh, you can do that. I want it on. People always on. Oh yeah, you can do it three minutes, uh, five five times. I think then the next one is three times if it works. Uh, yeah, three oh three minutes or always always beeping. I always put it on always beeping because I'm always away from my airplanes and talking or doing something. So that's how that that works. Backlight is fifty percent auto cool. You can change the fan so it goes fifty percent always on. Different ones, different settings like that. Uh, a re uh, discharge. Uh, that's. Oops, we don't want that button. Yeah, now regen regenerative discharge. That's that's pretty cool. I haven't used it, but um, what you do is 
if you have some batteries that you need uh, to discharge or like to store them or uh, your car won't start what <laughs> what happens is you can pl plug them into your to your charger and it will take instead of dispersing your energy from your batteries into heat it just it puts it back into your car battery so that's kind of a nice it kind of recycles the energy and uses it so if you're in a pinch put your freshly charged lipo batteries back on the charger and and throw it back into your car um, so that's kind of a new feature and nice feature to have let's see there, there, there's a lot of different settings here I don't have time to get into everything so that's basically that there's another program I wanted to talk to special settings I think yeah now this one's a motor driven um, so you can uh, break in your electric motors if, if, if your instructions tell you to break in your motors you can do that it's kind of that's kind of a nice feature to have foam cutting you can foam cut so if you're into foamies and you have a want to cut foam that's an option too I've never done it some of my friends have it worked out well um, internal resistance the um, kind of tells you the life of your battery how well it is how much internal resistance it has on it um, that's nice nice to nice to have on there so um, you can measure that. I'm not going to get into how you do that, but it's a pretty cool feature to have. It seems like it works okay. I don't know if it works the best, but it, it works. So, that's um, that. Let's see if there's anything else that I want to talk about. Loading settings, files. Yeah, that's... So yeah, that's that's about it. I told you the leads get hot. Uh, make sure that you should get a lipo battery bag when you're when you're charging. That's a good safety feature to have. Other than that, that's the iCharger 36B, uh, and uh, that's the review for today. Thanks, guys. Have fun flying. Bye.